Hello friend, let's talk about security, about exploring the hidden corners of the digital world. It's about understanding how systems work, how to find and fix weaknesses. This is the world of ethical hacking. Today, we're turning your Android phone into a powerful hacking tool using Kaylee Linux. Don't worry, we'll take it step by step. No need for complicated routing or technical jargon. Think of it like this. You're learning to pick locks, not to break into houses. Our goal is to understand vulnerabilities, not exploit them for malicious purposes. Ready to dive in? Let's begin. Kaylee Linux is a specialized operating system designed for security professionals and ethical hackers. Think of it as a toolbox filled with powerful tools for testing and analyzing networks and applications. These tools can help identify weaknesses, allowing you to strengthen your own systems and those of others. From scanning for open ports to testing website vulnerabilities, Kali Linux provides the arsenal you need. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. The tools in Kali Linux can be dangerous in the wrong hands. Always use them ethically and legally. Why use your Android phone for ethical hacking? Simple portability and stealth. Your phone is discreet, always with you, and can access networks that traditional computers might not. Imagine this, you're at a coffee shop connected to the public Wi-Fi. With Kali Linux on your Android, you can discreetly analyze the network security, identifying potential risks and vulnerabilities. Mobile ethical hacking allows for on-the-go assessments, quick security checks, and a deeper understanding of the digital world around you. It's about being proactive, about staying one step ahead. Before we begin, let's gather our tools. You will need one, an Android phone. Any Android phone will do as long as it can run apps and connect to external storage. Two, a USB drive. This will be our portable Kali Linux system. The larger the storage, the better. Three, an OTG cable. This allows your phone to connect to the USB drive. Four, the UserLand app. This clever app lets you run a full Linux system on your Android without rooting. Download it from the Play Store. Five, an internet connection. We'll need this for downloading Kali Linux and updating our tools. Once you have everything, we can proceed to the next step, preparing our USB drive. Section 5. Preparing your USB drive. Rufus to the rescue. First, we need to create a bootable Kali Linux USB drive. We'll use a tool called Rufus for this task. Don't worry, it's user-friendly and available for free online. Download and install Rufus on a computer. Then, download the Kali Linux image file from the official Kali Linux website. Make sure you choose the right version for your computer's architecture, either 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, connect your USB drive to the computer. Launch Rufus and select your USB drive from the list. Next, click on the Select button and choose the Kali Linux image file you downloaded. Double-check all the settings and then click Start. Rufus will format the USB drive and copy the Kali Linux files onto it. This process might take a while, so be patient. Once Rufus finishes, safely eject the USB drive. Congratulations, you now have a bootable Kali Linux drive ready to be unleashed on your Android. Section 6. UserLand, your gateway to Linux. Now let's turn our attention to your Android phone. We'll use an app called UserLand to bridge the gap between Android and Linux. UserLand is available on the Google Play Store. Download and install it on your phone. Once installed, launch UserLand. You'll be greeted with a list of different Linux distributions you can install. We'll be using Debian as it provides a solid base for Kali Linux. Select Debian from the list and follow the on-screen instructions. UserLand will download the necessary files and create a virtual environment on your phone. This environment will act as our secure container for running Kali Linux. It's isolated from your phone's main operating system, ensuring stability and security. Section 7. Unleashing Kali Linux on your Android. The moment of truth is here. Connect your USB drive to your Android phone using the OTG cable. Make sure your phone recognizes the drive. Launch UserLand and select the Debian environment we set up earlier. Once the environment boots up, you'll see a terminal interface. This is our command center. In the terminal, type the following command and press Enter sudo su. This command gives you administrative privileges, allowing you to install and manage software. You'll be prompted for your user land password. Enter it and press enter again. Now we need to find our USB drive. Type the following command and press enter fdisk L. 
This command lists all storage devices connected to your phone. Look for your USB drive, usually identified by its size and format, for example, slash dev slash SDA1. Once you've identified the USB drive, we can mount it. Type the following command, replacing slash dev slash SDA1 with your USB drive's actual identifier, mount slash dev slash SDA1 slash MNT. Congratulations, your Kali Linux USB drive is now accessible within your Debian environment. You can explore its contents and launch Kali's powerful tools. Section 8. Exploring Kaylee's Ethical Hacking Treasures With Kaylee Linux up and running, you now have access to a vast array of ethical hacking tools. Let's take a look at some of the most popular ones, Nmap or Network Mapper. This powerful tool allows you to scan networks, identify connected devices, and discover open ports. It's like having X-ray vision for networks. Next, we have Metasploit Framework. This is a penetration testing platform that provides a vast library of exploits, payloads, and tools. Think of it as a hacker's Swiss army knife. Then there's Wireshark. This network protocol analyzer allows you to capture and analyze network traffic in real time. It's like listening in on the conversations happening on a network. And finally, Aircrack Ung. This suite of tools is designed for testing wireless network security. It allows you to assess the strength of Wi-Fi passwords and identify vulnerabilities. Remember, these tools are powerful and should only be used for ethical and legal purposes. Always obtain permission before scanning or testing networks that don't belong to you. Section 9. The Hacker's Code. Ethics and Legality. Before you embark on your ethical hacking journey, it's crucial to understand the ethical and legal boundaries. Here are some key principles to follow. First. Obtain permission. Always get explicit permission before testing or scanning any system or network that doesn't belong to you. Second, respect privacy. Never access or modify data without authorization. Treat all information with confidentiality and respect. Third, disclose vulnerabilities responsibly. If you discover a security flaw, report it to the system owner or vendor through appropriate channels. Give them time to fix the issue before disclosing it publicly. And lastly, stay informed. Laws and regulations regarding cybersecurity are constantly evolving. Stay updated on the latest legal frameworks and best practices. Remember, ethical hacking is about making the digital world a safer place. Your actions have consequences, so always act responsibly and ethically. Section 10. Your Android Transformed. A call to responsible hacking. Congratulations. You've successfully transformed your Android phone into a powerful ethical hacking tool. Remember, this newfound knowledge comes with great responsibility. Use your skills wisely, always staying within the bounds of ethics and law. Explore, experiment, and learn, but do so responsibly. The digital world needs more ethical hackers, individuals who use their knowledge to protect, not to harm. Go forth and make the digital world a safer place, one hack at a time.